G'day everyone. I've had a bunch of people in my comments on my other videos asking me about my keyboard and mouse key bindings. Apparently it's some kind of heinous crime to play Souls like on a mouse and keyboard, but I do it uh, and I have for every game that I've played, so not a big deal to me, but apparently it's, uh, it's strange for some people. So I'm going to go through my uh, key bindings and then I'll go through what is normally the key bindings for what I can work out on the internet, what other people normally use for Souls like on mouse and keyboard, because mine are not actually the normal ones. So let's have a quick look through them and I apologize for the ad hoc nature, but I'm just going to go through this uh, on the fly. So the main things are going to be your mobility. So your dodge, your jump and your sprint and your attack, uh, wait, your attack options. So the single most important thing that'll kind of uh, control the rest of your key bindings is, key bindings is going to be your dodge button. Now I use alt. I use dodge as my alt. Most keyboard and mouse players, as I understand it, use space or some use shift. But the, the, uh, the thing to note here is that it needs to be something that is not, and I've got this uh, input overlay on the bottom corner there that you'll be able to see in the recording. The main thing is that your dodge button is something that is not impeded by using WASD, right? You obviously, I think in one of the games, the default dodge button was F and it's like, how are you supposed to press F if I'm pressing, if I'm moving right, you can't do it. So it needs to be something that either your pinky can press such as shift or ooh, such as uh, shift or that your thumb can press such as alt or space. Right, if you want to play on space. Now, space is the normal one. But for anyway, I use Alt. I use Alt. All right. Then my jump button, the other mobility options, my jump button remains space. And my surge sprint is just control, which is I hit with my pinky and just toggle it on and off. All right. Now, and so that's what I use for my mobility keys. For the, let's have a look. Attack options, the default attack options of left left mouse button for your attack shift left mouse button for your main attack well actually no sorry so the default options for this game is control control is your uh attack modifier or your modifier button and shift is actually your surge sprint i've swapped them so control is my surge sprint because it's toggle and you only use it very rarely whereas shift you want to be using near constantly as your attack modifier and your modifier for various things so just as a note, swapping to two hand and one hand, I use shift as well and scroll. But then for your heavy attack, so left mouse button, light attack, shift left mouse button for heavy attack, and then right mouse button for guard, and shift right right mouse button for guard. This is also a controversial one, and there's that's not the normal way that a lot of PC players, but I'll talk about that in a minute. I also use my mouse button in for my character skill, but you could very easily put that on... Uh, you know, E, R, F, Q, G, something something else near your um, near your WASD that you could press. You know, Q, E, R, F, something like that. All right. Um, but I use, it's worth noting that I use Q for my lock-on, so it's not that. But you could very easily use like tab for lock-on, things like that, right? So that's up to you. But I think having making sure that these four here are comfortable is the main thing. Things like your character skill, your ulti, and your item usage can come later. All right. So let's have a quick look at how that looks. So left mouse button is my just basic light attack chain, right? Shift left mouse button is my heavy attack. Yep. And then using, oh, why is that doing that? That's two-handed. Holding right mouse button is your guard, is your guard. Now, there's two things. And then just, just in general, for, I'll cover off very quickly these other points. So I use four as my item swapping. You can see it's rotating through with four. I use five to consume and I use six to eat off the ground. I actually have those buttons on my mouse, which is why I've put them there on the overlay to distinguish. But if you don't have mouse buttons, you could very easily put them on one, two, three, or th two, three, four, whatever's comfortable above your WASD. Put them somewhere that's comfortable, but two, three numbers in a row is probably a good way to put that. You can have your swap, your use, and your eat off the ground all next to each other. I use F for my flask and R for my ulti, but I don't have ulti charge right now. All right, so those are kind of the miscellaneous stuff around the sides, and Q is my lock-on. Um, the main things, though, is going to be your attack and your mobility. So I've already covered off on dodge. The main issues with this layout that I use, obviously it's fine for me. I've used it for ages. It's perfectly playable, like I do solo runs and blah, blah, blah. So, But the issues that you will come across, which is why there's a more normal layout that I'll go over in a sec, is there's a few things. So... In base Elden Ring, when your only form of sprinting was the combat sprinting, which is where you hold in your dodge button, alt for me, and then jump. 
how do I jump now? Well, my thumb's already on Alt, so I actually move my my left index finger, which would be sitting on D otherwise. I just kind of kind of pull that down at a funny angle. I don't use this very often. It's not particularly comfortable, but it's no big deal. Um, yeah, these days I only really ever use this for jump attacks in combat. If I'm trying to preserve stamina, I can do the combat sprinting, holding Alt, and I just do it. Right, because otherwise, at the moment, we're toggling surge sprint in this game with control. And so then jumping's fine. My thumb's free for jump. No big deal. All right, so that's one issue where it comes into this this kind of keybinding layout comes into play. The other issue is your guard counters and your skill usage for particular skills. So, skills like unsheath, and that's actually why I've got it now. Skills where you have a follow-up with normal or strong attack to perform whatever, right? So... If I press my skill button, which is shift, right click, it shifts the weapon, obviously. Right? I then need to follow up with a heavy attack or light attack input. Well, heavy attack's easy because I can just hold these two bindings down, as in shift and right click, and I can just press left click, and it'll just transition straight into that heavy attack because shift left click is my heavy attack, right? However, if I'm wanting to, if I'm holding this in like this and I'm wanting to transition to the light attack variation of this, I need to release shift and then press light attack, and I can't, all right? But... What's interesting to note, or what's not interesting, but the way you work this is that if you just press the shift and right, right click, right, if I just tap them, notice that I'm tapping them, I'm not holding them, there's a small window there where he sheaths his weapon and he just sits there. Right? So all you need to do is tap these two and then press left click by itself. And you can very easily overcome that issue. If you're wanting to wait and use it at the right time, that's where you'll have an issue. But let's be honest, if you're using this ability and not doing the heavy attack anyway, well, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> not always sometimes you want to clear it like horizontal slash with multiple enemies in front of you um, but for most boss damaging encounters and things like that you'll want to do the heavy attack all right some other examples things like golden land you can just simply press it and then do a heavy attack input after there's no issues with that things like the sword of night and flame is another example like unsheath you've got your kind of it'll as you press the input the shift right click input there'll be this moment where he hangs there like that right so from there, you can either use the heavy attack, which is this cool ability there, or you can do the quick tap and do the light attack input. Like that. Uh, so you can very easily overcome this, but it does take a little bit of getting used to the quick kind of swapping. You need to activate shift, right click, and left click. All right, anyway, so that's one issue where you might have an... But otherwise, there's like very few issues of this setup in terms of the skill button. The other issue is occasionally when you're guard countering. So let's just use this bloke here. So basically, if you're guard countering, you're holding right mouse button, obviously, right? If you just go from holding right mouse button and then adding shift, shift left click for the heavy attack. Let me just show you again, because that looked like it was working, but it wasn't. It's going to do the funny. Oh. Uh, actually, I think it will work because Okay, I need to wait for this dude to do his second attack. <laughs> Bear with me for a moment. Do you see that? So if after this guy hits me, I just immediately press shift left click. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it'll, if, depending on the exact timing that I use, often it'll use my character skill because I'm, I'm pressing shift before I've released the right mouse button. And then all of a sudden shift right mouse button is my guard counter. Like that, so he went to unsheath. The, the, the over... So it is working there, but it does depend on your exact timing. So the simple kind of counter to this is in the moment after you uh, take the, the guard, you just simply release shift and... Uh, sorry, you, you release the right mouse button for a, for a split moment and then hit shift and left click. So let me show you that. And that's the much more reliable way to do it. So you'll be guarding, you'll take a hit, and then you'll immediately shift right click. Uh, shift left click, sorry. Alright, so this is one that will maybe take a little bit of getting used to. Just the, the quick release of right click into the shift left click. So, But anyway, that's the only other issue that you'll ever have with this lineup of thingos. And as you can tell in my uh, other videos and run-throughs, none of this really affects me much at all. Um, but it is worth noting that that's uh, not a normal uh, binding. So... The more traditional way on PC, let's have a look at these, is going to be using spacebar as your dodge button. All right, spacebar being your thumb, your comfy button that you're going to be spamming the whole time. Your jump becomes F of all things, 
and your surge sprint can, I guess, stay on control. Uh, so jump on F, space is your dodge button. That's going to be the main thing. The other thing that uh, they swap often, using flask is obviously going to have to move to G or just put it wherever else is comfortable. The other main thing is skill. Putting skill on control, or you could do it on alt, right? In this case, I'll leave it on alt because I've already got control, but I could swap surge sprint uh, and skill very easily. Control, alt, alt, or control makes no difference. And we'll just, how do I unassign? There we go. All right, so now I'm not going to have any of those. Uh, oh, bu -bu -bu, how do we get out? So, and I'm not going to be able to do anything here because I'm not used to these buttons. Uh, but now my skill is alt, right? Alt is now my skill, and I can just go straight into a heavy attack, or I can go straight into a light attack while I'm holding it, right? So there's an example. I can hold this down for as long as I want and then react, right? So there's the kind of advantage there. Uh, and I think you're actually going to have the same issue here that I had with uh, guard countering. You are, but the guard countering one, you'll just have to get used to. Uh, but so that's the more normal... Oh, that's going to... So space is now my dodge, all right? That's the more normal option that PC... From what I can tell on having a quick... Uh, what am I doing? Quick trawl through Reddit and some Steam reviews and stuff, Steam posts. That's actually the way that most keyboard and mouse Souls players will do it. They'll put jump on F and they'll put your dodge on spacebar. As spacebar being the biggest, most comfortable button to spam reliably the entire game. Right? Your skill can go on control or alt. Right? Surge sprint, you just put on the other one. Shift and shift modifiers, you can still leave the same. And uh, yeah, your jump is F, which is no big deal because you should be able to jump Whenever. And that means now if you're holding uh, the combat sprint, being holding in, well, in this case, space, you can still jump normally, jump and straight into a heavy attack. So you don't have to do the funny pull on down your left index finger. So anyway, I'll put all these just written next to each other in text on the final screen in a moment. Uh, so if you wanted to copy either of these, you don't have to kind of go through the video and find where I talk about them all. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what I do on keyboard and mouse. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.